Okay, so um, I'm just gathering my stuff because in about 10 minutes or so, Ed uh, should hopefully be joining me and we're gonna go out, take some photos and videos and test out what this new camera, the A7 Mark IV is like uh, with the low light. So I need to get my stuff together. Focus. I'm so happy. <laughs> right, let's go. Let's have a look at this thing. Look, it can light me. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Look, it's like a. That's quite nice with the boker in the back. Hang on. I'm... How does this look? I'm being lit by this giant snowman. Eye autofocus working. I'm pretty damn impressed, to be fair. 2000 ISO, f1.8. It's tracking me pretty damn well. Apart from your facial expressions, it's, it's, it's pretty Oh, sorry, pretty I probably... Decent. Oh my god, that looks so nice. It is, it is quite nice. Hands model now. So I move my hand. Hands perfect. Oh, it's green now. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know. I mean, it's still eye tracking you. <laughs> That's quite impressive. Right. Let's. Will this even fit here? No. Yeah. So we're we're back. I'm pretty impressed by the footage. I'm pretty impressed by how well the autofocus works. Because like right now, I'm being eye tracked. You won't be able to obviously see that in the footage, but hopefully you'll be able to see that it's in focus. Look, you're welcome to join the frame. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pretty impressed by how the autofocus works at night, low light. Um, and we'll just have to wait and see how the footage looks. Hopefully, it looks pretty good. Right, I think it's time for pizza. Yes. Almost. Just back a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa, eyes kind of in. There we go. Damn. We've unlocked a new level for your staring into the camera thing. <laughs> now it actually focuses. Oh, wow. <laughs> now you're actually going to be seen when you do it. Right, pizza time. Why are you still wearing your coat? Because I'm cold. <laughs> I'm still, I'm, I'm still cold. Okay, well we've got pizza now, so. Yeah. Good times. I've now had a chance to look at all that A7 Mark IV footage from the nighttime test I did with Ed and I've got to say I'm incredibly impressed by both the photos and the videos. Let's start breaking down a few of the most important things that you need to know. Firstly, I think what is the most important thing when it comes to making videos and making your life easy is autofocus. <laughs> have rubbish autofocus then your life is going to be an absolute nightmare um, and trust me I've lived with it with the Sony a7 Mark II for too long at this point. So the a7 Mark IV how does it perform with the autofocus? As you saw in that video I was particularly impressed with it on the night and I continue to be. It is absolutely spot on. What I love about the autofocus is it's something that you don't want to have to worry about. Autofocus is just one of those things you just want to work 
in the background without you having to really worry about it. And that's exactly what this camera does. I used eye autofocus all the way through the night and it just locks on every time perfectly. In very dark scenarios, it was still finding an eye or at least a face to lock onto, which just makes your life so easy. That's one of the best things about this camera. The autofocus system is just so good. Can't emphasize that enough. It's amazing. It's almost worth upgrading from any camera with worse autofocus just for the autofocus because it just makes your life so much better. Okay, let's move on to the image quality. Obviously, a lot of this is impacted by ISO and how well it um, manages the noise. And the noise on this camera at night is incredibly low. It can shoot at two main base ISOs in S-Log3, which is 640 and 2000. I think it's a really nice sweet spot. Um, so in case you just need those extra stops of light in a really dark scenario, you can switch it up to 2000. And even if you go past that, the noise isn't unmanageable. I tried to keep two 640 and 2000 just to make sure those images look great, but you could increase it far beyond that and get away with it. The photo quality, I was also incredibly impressed by the eye autofocus as I mentioned earlier, complements it so well. You're just nailing focus every single time, which just helps your images look super sharp. The 33 megapixel sensor does a great job of producing really sharp and detailed images, even at night. They are big files. You've got so much data in there to play around with. Uh, there's really nothing to complain about. I've never been one for completely loving night photography. I often found it quite difficult with different cameras, um, but I actually found it super easy with this one. I was really happy with the images I managed to capture on the night, some of which I've posted on my Instagram. So I'll use this opportunity to plug my Instagram. If you do want to check out any of my photos that I do take with this camera from now and beyond, um, make sure to head down to my Instagram and you can check them out. Some of the things that people doubted um, were the rolling shutter and the 4K60. Let's go on to the rolling shutter first. You can't avoid saying it, but it is pretty bad. Uh, if you're someone that's gonna need to move the camera loads, um, then this just isn't a camera for you. You do get, you know, your whopping and you can probably see it here. For me personally, it's not a massive problem. I don't tend to shoot loads of fast action movement. I didn't think it was too bad when we were vlogging. I didn't notice massive problems with it. Um, so it's not really something that's impacted me negatively. Of course, everyone has a different scenario and different needs. So, you know, if you do need to film a lot of stuff that moves about, then that might be an issue for you. The 4K60. been a lot of people criticizing the 4k60 on this camera simply because it has a crop but for me i don't really think it's much of a problem most people don't film a lot of slow-mo in super wide images anyway i tend to use it mostly for close-ups of stuff um, so it's not really a massive detriment in fact in some scenarios i found the crop to be useful it really depends on your scenario i don't personally find it as a hindrance i may come across it in the future but for now, it really hasn't been a problem. I also must note the rolling shutter performance in the 4K60 is significantly better than it is in 4K24, so if you really wanted, you could use that for getting rid of rolling shutter. I don't know, there's a solution for everything. So I think that's pretty much everything that I've got to mention on this camera. I'm really impressed by it. Honestly, it has just made my life so much easier when it comes to photo and video. I can't emphasize enough how great an autofocus system that just works is, especially at night. Um, I'm really impressed by the quality of this camera at night and it is definitely a camera you could use uh, for your night photography or night videography. It has worked an absolute charm. And at the end of the day, it's about the camera that fits your needs best. There's no camera that fits everyone's needs. So you've just got to see which bits uh, can you live with or which bits are not gonna affect you and your use case, uh, like in my scenario as well. Oh, and I must mention, the flip screen is so good. It's just, it. if you don't, if you're trying to film yourself without a camera with a flip screen, honestly, I don't know how I did it before. Um, yeah, it's game changing, absolutely game changing. Brilliant. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. If you do have any other questions about this camera, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to as many of you as I can. Uh, I really appreciate all the support on the channel at the moment. It has been amazing. So thank you so much. Subscribe, like, all that stuff uh, and I'll see you in the next one. And look out for Christmas Day. We're gonna have Italy part two. I know some of you have been waiting. It's coming, don't worry.